you for joining us. We reached out to the attorneys for comment, but both the prosecution and defense attorneys did not want to comment. Straight ahead on Oregon's News at 10, the Cottage Grove Cannabis Oil Factory fire is being handled by the DEA. And a psychologist has been given a grant to see if ADHD can be treated with natural nutrients. Plus, a lumber mill in Sweet Home will soon be under new management. Oregon's News at 10 starts right now. Jack Lyle, one of the last surviving Tuskegee Airmen, is being celebrated on Veterans Day with a beer named in his honor. The new beer brewed in Jack's honor is called Tuskegee Airmen Pursuit. It's well deserved. That'll go down smooth. I like that a lot. And I like the picture. I like the picture. It's getting ready to get in the airplane. That's sweet. Yep. Represent. Thank so, you for your service, right? That's yes, awesome. thank you. Love that. To all of the veterans. Oregon's population is growing at a strong rate between July 2016 and July 2617. In New Jersey, Phil Murphy beat Republican Kim Guadongo. Major Garrett has more from Day Nang. I so. just want to shake it up. That's all I want. I just want more <laughs> of that. Just provide that and I'll be happy. Okay. Kind of fancy spancy. I mean, it was fun. They would just, they'd run and jump and like go and then dump out and then the other side. And so you just, you'd see the surfers lined up. It Sounds was a cool. fun, yeah, it was fun. Depicting the progression of American tiki culture since it began in the U.S. at the end of World War II. Tiki culture, which is historically carvings of humanoid totems in wood or lava from Polynesia or Mel Melanesia was first embraced in the United States by American troops serving in the South Pacific. One room houses the historical tiki, tiki. One room houses the historical tiki, 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 tiki. Dylan says the university is prepared for all sorts of scenarios, including natural disasters. When it comes to shootings, <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. She says they want to prevent something like that happening. Good evening. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for Oregon's News at 10. I'm Kristen Goodwillie. We do have a health alert. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for Oregon's News at 7. I'm Kristen Goodwillie. All right. You seem very enthused about it. Yeah. Yeah. I think there was, what, a turkey as well? Service animal? Any animal, I guess, you can fall in love with. Yep. The pizza named Magical AF <laughs> combines a margarita pie with brightly colored edible glitter, which the restaurant terms unicorn puke. It's, yeah, unicorn puke. Yeah. Okay. We're slowly inching our way up towards three-digit temps. And it's time now for a first look at that forecast. Let's hand it over to meteorologist Travis Knut Knutson excuse me, to see what's ahead. Travis, are we really getting into those three-digit temps? Well, it depends on where you're at. But. Good evening and thank you for joining us for Oregon's News at 10. I'm Kristen Goodwillie. Well, we are, you know, it's summer. So, dry, dry is what it's normally, right? I'm, it's I'm, not out of the norm. We're, we're thank you for joining us for Oregon's News at 10. I'm Kristen Goodwillie. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for Oregon's News at 7. I'm Kristen Goodwillie. Well, maybe we can live under Mars now. We know that now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for Oregon's News at 7. I'm Kristen Goodwillie. Yeah, it feels nice. I don't have to be just like walk outside and start sweating. Mm -hmm. Well, authorities in Colombia had to relocate a drug sniffing dog. 80s. I'm just happy with 80s. That sounds amazing. Well, yeah, what, what does that feel like? I, probably it'll be cold. We'll be like, oh man, I need a jacket. I think. <laughs> I can't say that the uh, award is not warranted. It kind of looked like a gremlin. That was a funky looking dog. Yeah, the arms. It was just, yeah. I'm just sad about the dog. Oh. Why would you put a hit on a dog? I mean, it's terrible, but if you're like a drug lord and the dog's like interrupting your business, like no. logically, what's the step? I mean, it's terrible. I, it is terrible. I just want to make that clear. Well, then it's like, may, at least like maybe dog nap it and then give it a very beautiful life. But how could you, seriously, you want someone to put a hit on a dog? You're expecting drug lords to be ethical? Emergency dive crews have now pulled the last bodies out of Table Rock Lake in Missouri as families deal with unfathomable loss. Camilla Bernal has more from Branson, Missouri. Camilla?
Yeah, when I went outside uh, this morning, it was, I could definitely feel, feel it was cooler, but by one, it was hot. Yeah. The sun will come out tomorrow. It'll take a little longer tomorrow than it did today, but it will come out. I thought you were going to start singing. The sun will come out. Anyways, <laughs> a family that has such a guilty conscience. I um, stole a piece of candy in fourth grade. Oh. Another student was like, steal this, and so I stole it, and I think I made it 30 minutes before I told the teacher. Well. Yep. Could not do it. Really? So yeah. we're just getting hotter and hotter. Well, we, we are cooling down a little bit. Did, did you even pay attention? I saw 90s. The warmer just was like, Bleh. It does. It just like <laughs> goes it, on. It's very cool. 10-year-old Sydney Gaston and 11-year-old Autumn Hunter are set to race in Akron. The competition draws hundreds of youngsters from all over the world. Both girls won a series of races to get an invitation to the World Championships in Akron, Ohio. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for Oregon's News at 7. I'm Christine Goodwoolly. Lettuce? Like hot lettuce? But two grand, though, that's like catering for a wedding. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that is true. Especially, I just, the hot lettuce, they must put it on after, right? I mean, you can't. How many servings do you get out of it? Because two grand, like, do you think you could serve a wedding with that pizza? No. No. That's not enough. No. And, I mean, maybe everyone wouldn't like it, so... You know, options, options. <laughs> I threw a little bit of a fit that yes. I was not going to be able to show my costume, and I didn't get to go trick-or-treating. Oh, my gosh, you, you didn't get to go trick-or-treating? <laughs> well, I had a fit, so she was like, well, fine, no trick-or-treating. <laughs> Whoa. I mean. Whoa. So I imagine to the kids, if you're told to put the jacket on. Put it on. <laughs> put it on. Sweet Cheeks Winery and Eugene are at Sweet Cheeks. Sweet Cheeks Winery and Eugene are at Sweet Cheeks. And only 16% of the island has electricity and fresh drinking water is scarce. But going back and forth between the wet and dry conditions for the rest of the week. It's okay news. <laughs> I mean, Marijuana Dispensary says multiple charities have turned down their donations as they try to raise money for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That sounded so evil. <laughs> I put Taking a, little, a turn to the wet side. I put, yeah, you want to be the good guys. Mm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> take a look at this. We have, can you imagine in just like 20 years, all the things we'll be printing? We'll be yeah. printing new people. It'll be like... I got doused today. Yeah? Like, completely, like my pants were soaked. I, that happened to me today. I was just, by the end of my, uh, like, walk with my dog, I was drenched. Like, I, I was drenched all the way through. I mean, even if you have the coat on and everything, you still kind of, it, it seeps through. Yeah, and I didn't put a rain jacket on. Oh, well. It was my fault. It what did you my, expect? <laughs> it wasn't raining when I went out. I had, like, a bunch of jack, like, sweatshirts on. Layers. It went all the way through. It was horrible.